Are you ready to learn how to make pot roast? Hello, I'm Renee with Modern Homemakers and today we're going to learn how to make a pot roast. Now you might think that's an odd thing for a vegetarian to make. Um, I am a vegetarian, I've been one for many years, but my husband loves pot roast. So every once in a while I will make a pot roast for him just because I know how much he enjoys it. So today I have a chuck roast and the first thing we need to do is get the, uh, we're going to sear this before we put it in the crock pot. I use an old cast iron skillet. I've been using this same cast iron skillet for, it was my mother's cast iron skillet. She's 89 years old and it was her mother's before her. So if you don't have a cast iron skillet, I really recommend you get one. They're a great investment. So you're gonna start with that hot cast iron skillet or any kind of skillet to sear that. While that's searing on the stove and get the potatoes ready. There's no oil or anything in that pan because there's fat in the meat and so you don't need to add oil. We're just going to peel the potatoes. This is all small portions because it is just for one person so you might you know be peeling a lot of potatoes and have a much bigger roast. And then an onion. This is such an easy meal to prepare. It is so fast. And I like doing cooking it in the crock pot because you can put it in the crock pot in the morning and go away all day like if we're going to work and when you come home it would be ready. You could also do it in the oven if you have a roasting pan or any kind of a pan with a lid in it. Bake it on 350. So this onion I'm going to cut in kind of large pieces. So they're not going to be super small. I just cut it in the middle and then cut it out from that. So that's like how big the pieces are. And then I will separate those whenever I put it in. I can just do that now so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna, I'm going to separate these little pieces like that. <laughs> okay, and then uh, the only other thing that we're going to need is a package of dried onion soup mix. Uh, honestly, this is not something my husband should be eating. He's supposed to have a low sodium diet, but uh, you would not have to put this in there. You could do just the onions, but this is a real treat for him. He doesn't get it very often, so I'm going to put this in here. Um, it is very high sodium. It's not a healthy product, but it will make it taste really good, and that's what he's used to. So this is going to be his special treat. So let's see if that, how that's doing. Oh yeah, that's just perfect. And then we'll do that same thing on the other side. So you're just wanting kind of like a hard um, crust. And this is going to help the, make the broth and, and have the more flavor in the broth whenever the potatoes and the carrots cook in that. Now that that pot roast is seared on both sides, I'm going to transfer it here into the crock pot. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of water. I just left that burner on. I'm going to add a little bit of water, and that's going to start making the broth. I just kind of stir that around to get the roast off the bottom of the pan. We will add more water, that won't be enough, but I'll take that off of there. 
And then we'll arrange the potatoes in with a roast. And let's sprinkle the dried onion soup mix over this. Now, on another note, if you are a vegetarian, um, as a lot of my family is, we still love the, the taste of these roasted potatoes, so sometimes I'll do a crock pot that is just potatoes, carrots, onions, really it could be any vegetables, um, and just roast those vegetables without, the, without putting the meat in there, and that's also very tasty as a side dish, or we even treat it as like a main dish. Then we're going to add some carrots. You could peel the carrots. I'm taking the lazy route today and just putting in some baby carrots that are already peeled. My husband doesn't really like them, but I put them in there because he, maybe he'll get, you know, if he's eating the other things, he'll eat a few of those, get a little bit of beta carotene. And then we'll put that broth in. Now we want that to cover, pretty much cover the potatoes. And it didn't quite come all the way up. I'll put the rest of the packet. So you'll use that entire packet of the dried onion soup mix. And then I'll add just a little bit more water so that those vegetables, if they're covered with water, they will cook better. That looks good. And then he can use that broth over with his potatoes. Put the lid on that. Put it, um, I'm going to cook it on high because uh, I got this started a little bit later in the day than I wanted to. And that'll be done probably about six hours from now. Um, that'll be ready for him to eat.